Let me take you on a journey as I travel from Cebu City, Philippines to Vietnam. So just a bit of an information, Vietnam is a country in Southeast Asia known for its beautiful landscapes, vibrant culture, and delicious cuisine. Its capital is Hanoi and its largest city is Ho Chi Minh City. For this trip, I'll be staying for two days in Ho Chi Minh and two days in Hanoi. As I mentioned in my previous vlog, I am staying at 9 Hostel and Bar. I booked this at Agoda for a very affordable price and so far it did not disappoint. This is how the hostel looks like from the outside. It has a very good location and it's just a walking distance to some of the tourist attractions here in Ho Chi Minh. I started my day with some banh mi. Arir ako ni palit sa steak vendor na ako makita ng goa sa ako ang hostel. And it cost 20,000 Vietnamese dollars. So let's try it. Well, okay, Russia, but I do not like the taste. But I'm still happy that I tried it. After having my breakfast, I started walking to my first destination for today, which is the Reunification Palace. It's just a 12-minute walk from 9 Hostel and Bar. So after I crossed the street, I realized that it's the wrong way, so I have to go back. Good thing there's this lady who also crossed the street, so I just followed her. Nasaad na dyan po ang ingat time and I was tempted to book a grab but I decided to keep on walking para makasave. I finally arrived to the Reunification Palace and here are the ticket prices. So I just paid for the palace admission for 40,000 Vietnamese dong. The Reunification Palace, also known as Independence Palace, is a landmark building in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It served as a home and workplace of the President of South Vietnam during the Vietnam War and was the site of the end of the war when a North Vietnamese tank crashed through its gates. Today, it is a museum and a popular tourist destination.
there are also many restaurants and cafes beside the reunification palace. So I made a stopover at Highlands Coffee because I was very um, sleepy and at the same time thirsty from all the walking earlier. While I am here, I'm just checking how to get to my next destination, which is the Saigon Post Office in the cathedral. And again, magwalk or gihapun ko kay the older man. It's just gonna take me around 10 minutes to get there. Also, I'm using Google Maps to help me navigate a new place. So it's been so handy to me, and it's what I've been using every time I travel abroad. I'm now walking towards the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Saigon Post Office and after 10 minutes of walking, naabot na ko. I just need to cross the street to get there. Just beside the Notre Dame Cathedral is the Saigon Post Office. So I'm now walking towards there. The Saigon Central Post Office is another beautiful landmark in Ho Chi Minh City. Built in the late 19th century, the post office featured stunning Gothic architecture, including a beautiful art roof and intricate tile work. Today, visitors can admire the building's architecture and history, as well as send postcards and letters from the post office still operating mail room. So, nilakaw na ko sa post office and while I was walking, 
if I witness this scene, looks like they are shooting for something. This is at the back of the cathedral and as you can see I am walking towards um, the Ho Chi Minh Book Street and I'm using Google Maps to guide me there. Just a few minutes walk from the Saigon Post Office, I arrived at the Ho Chi Minh City Book Street. So, mag-click-click lang po diri kadali before pumuka on of lunch. After sprawling, I am actually getting hungry right now, so I'm just looking for a place to eat. I wanted to try their pho. I was feeling a bit dizzy the eye because it was very hot and I was like walking since um, 9 a.m. this morning and it's 1 o'clock right now. I just got so excited exploring a new city and I forgot to eat.
Macau na po ko pa dong sa cafe apartments. From Saigon Post Office, it will take around 11 to 15 minute walk. What I love about Vietnam, especially here in Ho Chi Minh, is that the tourist attractions are very close to each other, so you can just walk from one destination to the next. So you can save money from transportation. And again, I'm using Google Maps to guide me on how to get to the cafe apartments. For the weather, um, I'm in it for the idea in Ho Chi Minh. Because I visited um, February and it's already the summer season here. And just make sure that when you are walking around that you bring some tap with you or apply some sunscreen and also stay hydrated. The Saigon Opera House is a stunning French colonial building located in the heart of the city. Built in 1897, the Opera House features a beautiful facade and impressive interior, with a seating capacity of 1,800 people. Today, the Opera House hosts a variety of performances, including ballet, music, and theater, and is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. Yeah, hey, look at that. Yeah, 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 look at